Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty, food review. So ladies and gentlemen, I think this setting looks somewhat familiar to some of you, maybe not familiar whatsoever to many of us. Maybe we know, maybe we say, review bra, you're at it again. You're in public, you're doing a review, and let me guess, you just, you just ran out of bleeps to give, and you're here again in public trying out the latest and greatest fast food items. And that is partially correct. Um, I ran out of cares, so I'm back here in public, on location, in scene. Um, and I am reviewing the latest fast food items, but perhaps not the greatest. Case in point, Burger King. What do we got here, folks? It's, uh, as you know, last week I think we tried out the, uh, whatever, the cod, fish, Indian Ocean sandwich from, you know, Wendy's. Burger King said, hey, look at these, look at these bastards at Wendy's, you know, trying to, trying to get the one up on us with this fish sandwich. We can't have that. So let's monopolize off of our extra long sandwich and let's make our own fish sandwich. And it was spoken, and that's what they did. So here it is, the extra long fish sandwich from Burger King. I'd call it the extra long mess on a bun, you know, but that's what we got. It's got a very long piece of fish, has pickles, tartar sauce, and it also has lettuce to it, as well as a sesame seed bun, and of course, breaded fish. You can see it again right here, extra long they call it. And uh, we're just gonna eat, we'll tell you what it tastes like, and that's what we got. Going with the scarf and tie set today because we're we're taking a ride on the polar coaster in these uh, these parts of Review Bra Land. It's you know 20 degrees outside, feels like two degrees of the wind, so I gotta keep warm. So here's what it tastes like exactly, okay? Number one, should I say, the portion size I do credit them on because they do give you a decent sized portion. Um, could I really say the same for Wendy's? Well, perhaps, I, you know, it was a good sized sandwich. But this, oftentimes with the burger, you know, the extra long burger, they give you, you know, the two patties, but they're wafer thin and it's, you know, it's barely anything. Here they do give you a, you know, a, a fish, fish patty. Um, you know, that it, it does take up the whole length of the sandwich here. And, uh, you know, it is, it is thicker, too. So they give you at least a good portion size. Now, as for the taste, first off, of course, we all care about that fish. What does the fish taste like, of course? The fish itself, actually, here is very flaky. Um, you know, very, very easy to, to eat. Um, you can tell, again, sometimes when you do eat fish, you know, they... I don't know, sometimes it's oddly, you know, chewy or whatever. This isn't any of those issues. It's uh, a little crispy, um, you know, very flaky and uh, just very soft, very soft. You just bite into it, it just slides right off. Um, has a little bit of a crunch to it that kind of, it tries to cancel out the very soft, you know, chewy flakiness of it. Um, doesn't totally do it, but it, it does, you know, help a little bit. Um, so the fried, you know, crust on this, uh, this fish, you know, adds a little bit of a, uh, a saltiness, a little bit of a crunch, and perhaps we should say some texture to it as well, because that's one thing that would be otherwise lacking. So, okay, the fish itself tastes okay. What about all the other stuff that they put on it? Did you did you actually taste any of it this time, review bra? And I did, believe it or not. They put on about, you know, I'd say around four or five, you know, uh, pickles. Um, 
was able to taste the pickles they added. You know, that little bit of a, I wouldn't necessarily say a, a, a bitterness. Um, I mean, they can be in, in some way, the, the dill pickles, but uh, more of that, that vinegariness, you know. They were able to, to, to really be full of that, that vinegary type flavor. Um, you know, the tartar sauce too was able to actually add a, a tanginess. Because if the tartar sauce in this one, not only did they coat the bun here, you can see that, but also, you know, they were able to put a bit on the fish itself. So they kind of layered it a little bit, if you will. Um, what they did, you know, to, to really say it, is, as I said, they layered the tartar sauce. You know, they put a bunch here on the top bun, they put a little bit on the fish, put a little bit on the bottom bun, so they really just smothered it in that tartar sauce. But with that much, you were able to taste some of that, and that did add a tanginess to the fish. Now, normally I'm not a, a tartar sauce type of person, nor am I a fish person, but sometimes the two do go together very nicely, and it kind of, you know, helps out the blandness of the fish, if you will, and it's able to, to really, you know, spice things up, add that tanginess, and make it a little bit more bearable, if you will, to eat. Um, and you are able to get that effect out of this. So, with contributions from the tartar sauce and, of course, the little pickles here, um, you get the vinegariness, as I said, from the pickles, you get the tanginess from the tartar sauce, that combines with almost the blandness, you can say, of the fish, and that actually contributes into a pretty good sandwich. Um, the lettuce does nothing, it serves no purpose except for, you know, decorative aesthetic purposes. It just slides off and makes a mess, trails the sauce everywhere. That's the one issue, but otherwise it is a, uh, you know, a, a good, you know, a good, good tasting uh, sandwich. And, you know, in comparison to the Wendy's one, this one, I will say, believe it or not, does a lot better of a job. Um, it really does. The, you know, and as I say, you know, oftentimes I'm biased. I usually say, you know, Wendy's is, out of all three, McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's, of course. I always say Wendy's is the best, but, you know, this time Burger King actually... Believe it or not, provided a, a quality, you know, quality uh, sandwich, which is relatively unheard of. But anyway, that's what we got for you, folks. Price-wise, this is going to be priced at around four twenty-nine for the sandwich alone, which is a little expensive. But you got to say, well, heck, at least I'm getting, you know, good-sized portion. You know, and at least it doesn't taste too horrible. And you just got to say that, and you're going to say, well, you know, I guess it's priced accordingly. That's all we got for you, ladies and gentlemen. Out of 10, what am I going to be rating this? I'm going to be rating the fish, the extra long fish sandwich, or the XL fish sandwich from Burger King. I'm going to be rating this an 8.5 out of 10. Um, took me by surprise. The lettuce, it can be a little messy, but overall, I think they did a pretty good job with this. And in comparison to the Wendy's fish sandwich, I, I will say the Burger King one is better, in my opinion. Well, that's all we got for you, folks. We're in public here. We won't be much longer. That's all we got for you. We'll see you later. Take care.